hello friends welcome to my another video in this video I'm gonna talk about sparkle share so sparkle share is an open source synchronization and collaboration tool for Linux same like Dropbox so let's see how to install this on Linux Mint so I have the commands that I'm gonna use to install sparkle share so firstly you need to add git ppa uh, because because the sparkle share ppa depends on it so let's start installing this open the command line terminal and uh, just uh, i'm going to simply copy this and paste this to the terminal you can copy the entire command here from the video description below so just uh, enter and give your password enter again to continue so the git ppa is now added to repository next uh, again I'm going to simply uh, copy this sparkle share ppa that's an unofficial ppa so just uh, let me copy this and paste it again to the terminal and hit enter so next uh, after this just uh, run the system update so just type this command sudo apt get update hit enter So the system is now updated. Next, just type this command to install Sparkle Share. sudo apt get install Sparkle Share. Hit enter and uh, and next just press Y and enter again to continue and so again press y because it's asking that for verification press y and enter again to continue so the sparkle share is now installed i'm going to close this terminal and uh, let's launch this so let me search as sparkle share let's launch this so so this is the sparkle share setup so just uh, this is my name here enter uh, your email here so let me just type this email and after that just click on continue this is the basic tutorial that what happens here with sparkle share next uh, Next, click on continue so this will create a folder in your in your home directory and uh, this will this will be synchronized to different devices with hosts uh, so next continue continue and here is your un unique client uh, ID so this is uh, uh, giving your you a uh, unique client ID that you can just uh, give this to link with another host so for synchronization and collaboration so just after this click on finish and now sparkle share is configured next uh, let me just open my home directory here you can see uh, a new uh, a new folder is created with name with name sparkle share so you can keep your your file for syncing and collaboration into this folder so just uh, I'm going to close it here so for more detail you can check check its uh, website sparkleshare.org so this is how sparkle share can be installed so that's all for now friends thanks for watching